Hey everybody, it's good to be with you again and to be seen by you to give you a daily word of encouragement. I know that I have been blessed by the many posts that have been put out there by my colleagues and I'm sure that you have too. In these days when we're trying to learn, live to learn differently with all of these changes going on, um, I, like you, am trying to figure it out. Um, but one of the things that brings me great comfort is that there is a constant. Mark spoke about that previously, about how the Lord is a constant in our lives. And one of the constant truths about Jesus that brings me such great comfort in times like these is that Jesus Christ is on his throne. When the psalmist writes in 47, Psalm 47, 8, that God reigns over the nations, that God sits on his holy throne, those words reassure me, they comfort me, and they energize me to trust in the Lord, in what he is doing, and in his kingdom building plans. In times of national and global crisis, like the one we're in right now, often large numbers of people will turn their hearts back to the Lord. This is one of the hopes that I have for my own family, and this is one of the hopes that I have for members in our greater community of Carroll County, as well as around the globe. Billy Graham speaks powerfully about the reality that God is on his throne in one of his evangelistic messages. My husband Ed sent me this YouTube video last week and when I watched it, I was overcome with emotion. I felt like I was being filled up like a helium balloon, ready to take off for flight for God's service. The quality of the picture that I'm about to show you may not be all that great, but I hope that you will listen and enjoy hearing Billy Graham's powerful voice reminding us that God is on his throne. Habakkuk said, Lord, please tell me what you're doing. And God said, no, I'm not going to tell you, Habakkuk. Because if I told you what I was doing, you wouldn't believe it. If God today told us what he's doing in the world, we wouldn't believe it. Don't you think God's given up and God's abdicated and God's left the throne? He hasn't. He's still on the throne. And those of us that know him put our trust in him and him alone. I don't put my trust in Washington. I don't put my trust in the United Nations. I don't put my trust in myself. I don't put trust in my money. I put my trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. When all the rest of it fails and crumbles and shatters, he'll be there. I couldn't agree with him more. I hope that this is where you are putting your trust these days, because herein lies our confidence. God is on his throne. He is at work in and through all of our circumstances as we continue to stand on Jesus Christ, our solid rock. He will see us through. I hope this blesses you the way Billy Graham blessed me. Love you, church family.